Well, I'm providing a little update on what God is doing over in Pakistan through Brother David and his sister Shamila and the team he works with. They are distributing the Jesus Dinner Flyers over in that poverty-stricken area they live in, taking the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ uh, to the poor. I'm going to show you just a few little video clips here, and then I've got a little commentary uh, I'm going to make afterwards for those of you interested in uh, this exciting outreach thrust in that part of the world. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Here I'm David and my sister Shmaila and brother Azim, sister Nasheen, and all our bricks maker families, they need the gospel of Lord Jesus Christ, and they have got the gospel of Lord Jesus Christ and all papers of the gospel and the Bible verses and they will read and they will recite and they will get blessings according to the Bible. Jesus did it. Hallelujah! 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 Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Praise God, here Brother Azim and I am David and today we are serving food with 13 Christian families and they are bricks maker, they are living very hard life, they need our love and prayers and all are so much happy. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! All are so much happy. Here my sister Shmaila and sister Nasheen, Brother Azim, here I am David talking. Well that's such a blessing to see uh, people like David and his sister and the, the team that goes into these poor sections of Pakistan and they're taking uh, a bowl of soup with some meat in it that these young kids don't get very often. Uh, if you'll notice uh, in the brief video clips, they don't have shoes. Uh, we're talking major poverty and they don't get healthy food much at all. So what David and his sister, they do, they go in and, and uh, take some food and that brings an audience because they don't get good food like uh, David and his sister feed them, but that's all based on how much money they have to buy the food and, and they don't have a lot of money. Uh, I really encourage folks to pray about maybe sending a small donation of any size to David uh, and his team there to buy food, uh, they buy Bibles, they uh, are printing up the Jesus Did It flyers in English and in the uh, Pakistani language uh, so that they can leave those Jesus Did It flyers, the gospel message with those people and they can read that 24-7 anytime they want long after David and his team uh, pull out of that area. It is the truth of what Jesus did for them. Um, it's a tough area. Very little opportunity for uh, people to have what we hear in America and other places around the world just take for granted. So I just would encourage you to keep David and his sister Shemila lifted up in prayer and uh you know there's contact information in the description section below ask him for prayer if you got serious prayer needs david fasts a lot and uh let him know the situation you're faced with and uh let the holy spirit speak to him uh, about praying for your needs and uh, it is perhaps God will answer his prayer and honor his fasting and maybe through that you could show your appreciation and send five, ten, twenty, hundred dollars, whatever. hundred dollars will buy uh, a bowl of soup, several bowls of soup to feed these little children. Now, understand when they feed those children, they got to hear the gospel. They get, they get scripture read to them and explained. They get to learn how to praise Jesus in English. David and Shemila are trying to teach them some English as well because uh, ultimately, uh, if they can speak some English, those young kids, 
uh, one day, Lord willing, they'll have access to the internet. And where they have no means of making money other than working in a brick prison, a lot of them, uh, making fractions of a penny a day or so and owning their souls to the brickmaker owners, uh, the internet enables them to get out and sell things, do things that uh, we've never had before. So I'm encouraging David to teach and his sister and everybody who speaks a little English. He doesn't speak much, but he's he's trying. And my dear wife, Kathleen, uh, she's trying to teach David English uh, over over iPhone, you know, and uh, it's so cool. And uh, so anyway, um, it's just excitement to see people who have nothing um, taking the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ out to those who are bound in the deception of Islam um, and uh, can do nothing for those people, whereas Jesus can do miracles. Um, but the greatest miracle of all is you can put food in front of people, you can give them a good place to stay, have money, and that doesn't mean they're going to follow Jesus. Those young kids need to be taught at an early age following Jesus because none of them know when their heart is going to quit. Nobody knows when the heart is going to quit and then where are you going to be? And that's what this ministry of precious testimonies is all about. We're not about feeding the poor with food. We're not about feeding and clothing and helping like so many other ministries are. Uh, that's priceless. We're, but God has called us uh, to try to reach lost souls. A lost soul saved is more valuable to God than having billions of dollars of financial wealth and uh, do nothing but stockpile it, hoard it, and uh, could care less whether a dollar of it gets to somebody like David and Shemila and his team to help take the gospel out to those uh, in their part of the world. So. Uh, prayerfully uh, contact them down below there's some contact information and get to know them bounce around you know some thoughts whatever and uh, see what God might do thanks for hearing me out God bless